Hello and welcome back to another Firestorm Games unboxing video. Now this time we're taking a look at the latest game from Games Workshop, which is the Death Watch Overkill, which features the uh, Death Watch going up against the Gene Sealer Cult. And as you can see on the front of the box here, we have some of the Death Watch Space Marines facing off against uh, various uh, different generations of Gene Sealer at the size here as well. Now if I just flip this huge box over just onto the back here so we can see the contents a little better, you can see that we've got a whole host of miniatures and also some uh, game boards, tiles, rule book and things. The exact contents is a 48 page rule book, 8 double sided board tiles, 44 data cards, 6 dice and a range ruler. And then in terms of the miniatures you get 50 of them all together in this box set which is Chaplain Cassius, 10 Death Watch Space Marines, a Gene Steel Stealer Cult Patriarch, Majors and Familiars, 28 Gene Stealer Hybrids, 2 Pure Strain Gene Stealers and 4 Gene Stealer Aberrants, so quite a lot there. Um, now this review is going to be split into two parts. The first one section is going to be covering just the miniatures and the second part will be covering the rule book, the game tiles and all the cards that come with it. So let's open this box up and take a look at the contents inside. So here we have the contents of the box and this is split into uh, obviously the bases that we've got here which is the, we've got the base for the uh, the White Scars bike rider, uh, some larger bases there and then a whole host of different 25mm um, uh, and also 32mm bases uh, mixed in the bags there. Now the sprues themselves, we get six of them, and the four of them are unique. The uh, the first one uh, we've got here is for the uh, Gene Sealer uh, Patriarch, and also the Magus and I think the Familiars on there as well. Uh, we've also got uh, these sprues here, which are just the Death Watch Space Marines. So they've all been separated from the Gene Sealers, which is nice. We'll be looking at those closely in a moment. And also we get the rest of the Gene Sealers spread over these uh, two identical sprues that we've got here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in so we can get a close look at the components that make up each of these sprues. So let's begin our look at the sprues by taking a look at one of the, uh, the Space Marine sprues here. Now this one uh, features the Salamander special character there who's wearing a uh, Terminator armor. Uh, a lot of kind of Salamander iconography there. We've got the, uh, the scales on the shoulder pad there along with the Salamander icon. Um, we've got the flaming kind of brand that's on the top of the miniature. We've also got the, uh, the Dark Angels character here. And you see he's wearing the, the traditional hooded robes of the Dark Angels and also this kind of reliquy that's on the back there as well. Uh, I really like the kind of the extra detailings that you get in these sets as well. Um, a lot of kind of chapter specific stuff as well, so you can see we've got on the backpack here, we've got the ultramarine uh, symbol, we've also got um, various other ultramarine iconography you can just about see on here. Everything's really nicely detailed as well. You can just about see these uh, markings on the chest plates um, and also the kind of fantastic sculpting on the face that we've got there. Now as you probably notice a lot of these are uh, kind of a single pose miniatures that you can just snap together, a lot like the um, independent characters you get for other sets. Now that's the, the first kind of sprue, and this is the second one for the Space Marines. So we've got the uh, the Raven Guard um, character there, he's wearing his uh, lightning claws and also he's got the uh, the jump pack just on the top there as well. A number of the other characters in this set as well, I can't remember all of them, we've got, um, I think we've got another, a Blood Angel character here as well, you can see the icon on the chest, and if you just look at the, the face we've got the kind of the standard uh, blonde floppy hair of the Blood Angels. Now one of my favourites is probably the White Scars character as he comes mounted on this bike and also has this really nice kind of uh, cyber eagle to accompany him as well. You can see there you've got the very kind of Khan look with the top knot and the, uh, the stringy moustache at the top there. He's also sporting a Gene Sealer skull just on around his waistband as well. So overall really nicely, uh, really nicely sculpted, uh, would fit perfectly with any other kind of Space Marine armor. We've got the uh, Space Wars character here. Uh, a lot of the main chapters are represented which is nice because no one really gets left out um, and they really do make some fantastic special characters. So now that we've looked at the Space Marines, let's move on to the Gene Stealers. So this leads us to the Gene Stealers and first of all we have the, uh, the Gene Stealer kind of uh, the, the pure strain uh, patriarch and you can see here very nice kind of uh, detailing, uh, very epitomous of the Gene Stealer broodlord, uh, particularly like the folds that you've got in the kind of like the, the brain at the side there and also uh, the very fearsome kind of rending claws that we've got for this particular character. And as if you've seen already the, the, uh, the assembled miniature you can see it's mounted on this um, all the Gene Steel characters all seem to be mounted on something for some reason. I'm not sure why, but they just like perching for some reason. Um, we've also got the uh, the Magus as well. You can just about see here. He's got his kind of his high collar. Um, we've got his, this kind of ornate staff just at the side there. Um, and you can see we've got a couple of the familiar bodies, a lot smaller, a lot more stunted than the other Gene Steelers. So moving on, we have the actual main Gene Steeler sprue, and as I said, we've got two of these. So we start off with the uh, the kind of the more typical gene stealers you got at the top here, uh, much more like your run of the mill. Uh, then we move on to the kind of different stages, the different um, 
generation, so to speak. Uh, we've got some of the aberrants over here, the abomination, so I can't remember what they're called exactly, who uh, hulking, wielding these um, mining weapons, essentially. I mean, a lot of the weapons that you see on here are auto guns. Uh, we've got a kind of a heavy weapon here, which is more like a, a mining laser. So it's almost like these weapons have been scavenged up from the environment that they're in, rather than manufactured for a specific use. Um, now, whilst I've already mentioned on the Space Marine, a lot of these are all single pose miniatures. However, there is enough variation in them to actually get some um, kind of really nice variations across your units. And as well, if you look at the heads here, they've been kept separate, so you can pop those in and mix and match them as you see fit. Overall, really nicely cast, as we've come to expect with Games Workshop miniatures. Uh, very little in the way of mold lines as well. You can hardly see any just on the side and the seams there. And um, this, this probably kit will be a really nice um, set in which to assemble. And also, if you can just about see on the sprue as well, I forgot to mention, you, a lot of these items are numbered as well. So if you look in the instruction manual, you can see exactly which parts go with where. So now we've looked at the components for both the Gene Steelers and the Space Marines, let's zoom out and get an overall summary for this kit. So that was the miniatures of Death Watch Overkill. Really some fantastic sculpts that we've got in here. Everything's hard plastic, which is brilliant because it makes life a lot easier to work with these materials. Um, in terms of the value as well that you get as well, it's actually quite quite good because if you think about a lot of these Space Marines here, more like the individual characters that you get, which vary between about uh, 12 and 15 pounds normally. Considering you get so many of them in here, you also get all of the Gene Stealers and all the Gene Stealers special characters. You've got a fantastic amount of miniatures for 100 pounds, and that's not even uh, beginning to include the extra additional game that you actually get in this box set as well. Now another reason why it's uh, quite a good value for money as well, because you not only get a board game here, you also get some forces for that you can use in your 40k games, uh, you can use them as like a Tyranid force or a Tyranid allies force, so you can uh, deploy the Death Watch uh, team uh, as they as they stand on their own, um, especially if you picked up the White Dwarf which includes all of the rules for these guys here. So currently this box set is on the Firestorm Games web store for £85, which is uh, £15 less than the RRP. Uh, great value for money there, considering just the amount that you actually get in this set. And I'll pop a link in the description below that should take you directly to the web store. So if you enjoyed this unboxing and would like to see more uh, unboxings, do let us know which systems you would like us to uh, take a look at in future. And until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.